Just love this story. Kids develop at different speeds, but we're about to introduce you to one sprinting through the fast track. She's two years old. She taught herself how to read. How crazy is this? Wave News reporter Josh Ninke met the very talented toddler. <laughs> I can tell you I walked away very impressed and I'm not the only one. She is now the youngest member of Mensa, the largest high IQ society in the world. This is Isla McNabb. She's a pretty big fan of the alphabet. S. Whether it's spelling her name or reading her favorite book. L. She just can't get enough of her ABCs. <laughs> we haven't taught her any of this. She, she learned all of this herself. Makes me feel a little bit stupid, honestly. <laughs> That's dad, Jason McNabb, a member of Mensa himself. He and mom Amanda first noticed that Isla was pretty smart when she started writing letters in chalk before she was even two. She's come a long way since then. If you think she's just regurgitating all these words, you might want to think again. Yeah, when we took her to the pediatrician, we were explaining how she can read, and the pediatrician asked if she's memorizing a lot of words. And at which point we took her to a poster on the wall, and I read every word on the poster. Oh, the octopus. The octopus. The McNabb spent two days with a psychologist to see just how smart she was very superior in the knowledge category. But as you can see, she's still a typical two-year-old. One who likes to play with the cat just as much as she likes to read. The McNabs hope now that she's in Mensa, the organization will help her as she continues to grow and get smarter. It's not always e easy being the smartest person in the room, especially for young kids. Um, they don't often fit nicely into the educational system. And we recognize that. And so we have certain resources we offer to kids and their parents. For now, they're just letting her learn at her own, admittedly very fast, pace. What point is she going to pass us up, you know? So I have a feeling it's not going to be very much longer. Now, Isla is a COVID baby, so she's been at home with mom, but just started preschool twice a week. The McNabs think she can skip at least kindergarten by the time she gets there. Live in the studio, Josh Ninke, Wave News.